The remake of the Good Three Courses first chapter is out. As promised, you know, the original one was not that great and was at least not on par with the videos that we make now at GD Quest, so we decided to remake it. It comes with 19 videos, three hours of content, so that's already something, and much more polished examples, much better code than the original one, and a much better flow in the videos as well. It's out on Game Road. The update is free for everyone who backed the original Kickstarter or who already got the course. It's available in all three versions, Hobby, Indie, and Pro, so you don't have to pay the full price to get it. I decided to record it in Godot 3.1, although the code works in Godot 3.0 so that it's consistent with the rest of the course. The idea is that you get to see the improved UX and interface in Godot 3.1 so that the chapter is as up-to-date as possible. You can get the course right now on Gumroad and from now we are going to work on more Godot tutorials. We had that to finish first, as you can imagine 19 tutorials, that's something. And from there, I want to say that we are going to be for working on the channel, making videos. There's now going to be Razvan and Big Dev, whom you know, Henry Campos, um, who is going to make videos for GD Quest. Be sure to give them feedback on their work, on how, again, we can make the best tutorials possible. And I hope you'll be happy to see more content and to welcome new faces on the channel, new voices, new teaching styles. I want GDQuest to be like free software projects or free education projects to give some voice and space to others. So that's why we're going to be more tutors working on the channel, on the courses. We each have our strengths and weaknesses so we can complete one another pretty well. We're going to do our best with that, improving the tone on the channel. So our guidelines, we are doing them for the team, but they are open source, they are available for you to learn from what we make and uh, I'll ask you for some feedback as well, especially if you've got experience as a tutor, if you could help us write some guidelines, for example, for the classroom, or how to teach in workshops, being live in some location, because we don't have as much experience in there, although I've done a little bit of that in the past. This could be really useful, feedback on the guidelines, how we can improve them, clarify them, etc. As always, constructive criticism and ways in which we can improve our work are always welcome. But that said, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.